So I'm back with another uh, Photoshop tutorial for you. This is part of the beginners series and what I want to show you today is how to extract subjects from the background. I will show you a few of the techniques that you can use. And for this tutorial I'm using this uh, simple image and the subject is this umbrella which is on a solid uh, background. And this will make uh, things easier for me to explain. When you have solid backgrounds like this one and you want to extract an image, the quickest and also the maybe the best way of uh, doing that is uh, just using, uh, as I said, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. But the first thing you want to do is uh, remove, unlock the background layer and the quickest way of doing that is just pressing the alt key and double clicking the layer and it will turn that into a normal layer. The next thing that you have to decide is whether you want to delete the background or just mask it. Most of the times if the subject is really uh, difficult to extract from the background I would use a layer mask. So once you have the layer mask just select um, the quick selection tool. Make sure you select the image not the mask and just click and paint. And you can see that uh, it creates the selection. It automatically detects the edges uh, because this tool works with uh, it detects the difference in contrast and you can make this brush bigger or smaller and here you can choose the size and the hardness just like on the brush tool it's a shame that you cannot do that uh, just by right clicking just like like you do when you have a brush but that's the way it is uh, the keyboard shortcuts uh, work though so if you have the bracket keys by default you can work with those ones as you can see I'm doing right now and you can paint I didn't try the hardness option but you, you can try that for yourself if you want to so if you, the area that you want to paint is too small just to reduce the brush size and you can paint on it uh, if by mistake you do something like this you can subtract this from the selection if you select the minus tool or if you press the alt key and you'll see that the plus turns into a minus and you can paint that area by holding down the alt key and when you're done let go the alt key and uh, keep adding areas to the selection uh, it's important that you go uh, step by step especially if the background is really is really um, busy so to say because uh, you it's better to let Photoshop make the calculation and just paint step by step. It will usually work uh, a lot better than just uh, doing something like this. And once I have the selection, I select the layer mask and fill the selection with black. Or if you don't have a layer mask created, let me delete it. Uh, you simply press delete and you get rid of the background and you have your subject uh, extracted. You can also use the magic wand tool. Uh, I guess this is the easiest tool to use. You just click once and it selects the entire area that has the same color. And for solid background like, th like this one, this is the quickest uh, tool to use. You can adjust the tolerance. Uh, you can sample from all layers in case you have different layers, but it's just a matter of practice. So these are the beginner's uh, tools. Just try for yourself, uh, play with them and it's it's really easy to use. For subjects that are more difficult to mask or if you want a lot more precision on the edges I suggest you use the pen tool. This is the technique that I use most of the times uh, on my tutorials but you can use any of the tools that you like. This is just my my preference and the reason why I use this tool is because I like to have sharp edges like this so with this technique you select the pen tool, then you select the path option here on, on top, this icon here. And this technique is also a lot slower because you have to, ma to manually uh, trace a path around the edges of the, of the subject, in this case uh, this umbrella. So what you do is click on the edge, create an anchor point, and then click on, on another point and just trace the contour of the subject uh, with a trace uh, with a with a path and just like that I would never use uh, this tool on if I had a background like this as I already mentioned but 
I just want to show you how you do that. So you just uh, trace a path around this, around the contour, like that. And right now I will just uh, go really fast, because I just want to show you how you do this. And you can control all of this uh, anchor points, you can, if you press the control key, you can click and move the anchor points around. You can also control the, the shape of the path, if you press the alt key, click on the point and drag. Or if you click on, on single points like this one, with the alt key pressed, you just click and move these points around. So just trace a path like that. I'm gonna do it really, really quick here. So you go around like that and when you get to the start point just click on the first anchor point and you close the path. And once you have the path traced around the edges of your of your subject with the pen tool selected, right click and choose make selection. And make sure to leave a feather radius to zero, check uh, this option here and click OK. And you'll have this uh, selection here. but what we want is to um, remove the background so what you have to do is inverse the selection actually this selection will sometimes uh, be inverted depending on what option you have selected here but in this in this case it's select it selected the um, umbrella so I'll press control shift and I to invert the selection and you can also do that from select inverse and now I have the background selected and I can press delete and delete the background. You can also use the quick mask method. By clicking this icon here you, you access the quick mask uh, option, you can see it uh, here. And then you select the brush tool, make sure the opacity and the flow are at 100%. Also make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Next what you have to do is just paint over your subject. Okay, let's assume that uh, this is... Oh, man. That's why I don't like this tool. And once you painted your subject, click on this icon again. And you have the background selected. And now you can press delete. And you delete the background, but of course you can see how badly I painted this. That's why I don't really like the quick mask option. I'd rather spend more time with the quick uh, with the quick selection tool or, or with the pen tool. Another thing that I want to show you is how to use the refine edge, but I will use another image for that, so I'll be right back. So I'm back with the second image, and I want to extract this man from from the background. And just as before, I will unlock this layer by pressing Alt and double clicking on the layer, and I will use the quick selection tool. And as I said, I want to show you how to use the refine edge. So the first thing I will do is start painting on the background. And I'm just doing it, uh, selecting small areas at a time. And let Photoshop adjust the selection for me. Okay, now I have the background selected. And what I will do next is create a layer mask for this. So I will click this icon and that will mask the man. So I'll have to invert the layer mask and I will do that by pressing Ctrl and I. And now my background is gone, but as you can see the edges are not really sharp. And I will create a background on there so that you can see it better. Uh, you can see the edges are not really sharp and not really nice. And yeah, let's see. And as you can see here, they don't really look too nice. And what you can do to fix that is use the refine edge. So the first thing you have to do is load the layer mask. And 
To do that I will press and hold the control key and click on the layer mask and that will load the selection. And now you can see that the refine edge option becomes available and what I will do is click on it and that will open this window for me. Now depending on the Photoshop version that you have this menu might be different. Uh, I think Photoshop CS4 and CS5 have this menu but Photoshop CS3 I think it, it's different. I'm not really sure but um, and maybe some of the options are not available but you have the contrast feather and smooth on all versions I think. So what I what I can do to fix this is increase the feather just a bit by a few pixels and you can see that it makes the uh, the edges a bit smoother and in order to make them sharper I add more contrast so a bit more feather and I can also if I have a, a white uh, cast from the background I could shift the edges like that so I make the the layer mask uh, smaller by a few pixels so to say and you can also make the lines a bit smoother and maybe add a bit more feather and increase the contrast to have the edges a bit sharper so let's see a before and after before and after so that looks a lot better on the bottom here you have the output options and I will make this a new layer just to show you the difference uh, new layer with layer mask and click OK so that was the before and this is the after and let's see another area for example here before and after so that's why that's what the refined edge is used for before and after you can see all this nasty edges are gone let's see here on the knee as well before and after so you can see all this white line and all this uh, uh, really nasty edges are now gone I have a, uh, a sharp edge now Usually I use the refine edge only when I use the magic wand and the quick selection tools. If you use the if you use the pen tool uh, method, uh, you will not have to use the refine edge because uh, with the pen tool you will always get the uh, sharp edges. So, but it's a bit slower. Okay, so that's uh, that's all for today. I hope uh, you learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I will post more uh, videos for beginners, also uh, more advanced uh, manipulation tutorials and things like that. And well, that's all for today. See you next time.